Hello guys. I said I wasn't gonna vlog for a few days, but we're back. I went on a little bit of a rant in my last vlog, not to get into it deeply again, but my skin has just been pretty bad lately. I don't have my extensions in, so I've just like, have a hard time healing with my natural hair. Just between that and the cold weather and it getting dark at four, I just, I haven't been feeling my best and low energy, low motivation, and it's kind of just been getting to me a little bit. Also, I'm a little congested right now. But thank you for all the nice comments that some of you left on my last vlog. It's always nice to know that people are going through the same thing, even though it sucks and I wish that you weren't, but I don't know. It's just like kind of comforting in a weird way. I just got out of a Botox appointment. I just get my 11s done. I get it done maybe like twice a year. I also decided to get a lip flip again. Usually after I get Botox, there's like little swollen points on where they inject it and I don't see that today which is kind of nice because I'm gonna go shopping a little bit before my laser appointment. I always like to book all my appointments on the same days if I can. I didn't think I was gonna get a lip flip again. The last time I got it I liked how it looked but it was harder to smile and you couldn't really see my teeth as much but I wanted to give it another go. It's gonna take a while to kick in. I just had mixed feelings about it last time but yeah I haven't got lip filler in probably two years and I was thinking about getting a little bit more but I definitely still have some in my top lip. I also think I have a little bit of migration. I'm either just gonna wait it out and hopefully the migration dissolves on its own, but it's already been like two years. Um, the other thing I might do is get my top lip dissolved before getting more filler, but that makes me kind of scared. And then you also have to pay to get it dissolved and then pay for more filler. And So I'm kind of just trying to wait, but it's been like years. So yeah, I have to head into North Van now for my laser appointment. That's like two hours. I think I might have a little bit of time beforehand. So I might stop by Zara in Park Royal to see if they have anything. I want to look for a scarf. I also need to think about Christmas shopping for other people now. Just in a voice note, because I think it's easier. If you do go, I'll come with you. Um, I'm going to like shoot this property from like 12 to probably like two or three in that case if you do come then we can like hang out until we go i grab starbucks there's a couple events happening downtown they're opening a milk bar in nordstrom so they're having like a grand opening event so that's happening tonight and then there's also a poshmark event which i was not invited to i actually don't use poshmark i'm a depop gal i'm gonna plug my depop here because i did post a couple new things on there and i'm gonna post some more actually i have it linked below all the time, I think. So if you wanna check out what I'm selling, link below. I do not mean to throw Poshmark under the bus. For some reason, I can't get Poshmark to work for me. I think it's actually better for Canadians. Like, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. But I created an account and for some reason I can't access it or it doesn't work. Um, so that's the only reason why I am i don't use Poshmark. But Steven was invited to that one and I was invited to the milk bar one, so we would just be like each other's plus ones and maybe hit up both. I wasn't planning on going to either of these, so I didn't fully get ready, although I feel like my outfit's kind of cute. I'm wearing my Chuck Taylors and some like slack pants. I don't know what these are called. And then I have this like little cropped white sweater with this jacket. Since I'm gonna be downtown already, well not downtown, but like I'm in Vancouver, like North Van is not downtown, but I'll be a lot closer to the events than if I was back home. It's like I may as well take advantage of this time and like go to them, you know. I am with Steven. We're walking to Milk Bar for an event. We don't really know. Do we need to go here? We go. I think we're just gonna like eat cookies or something. I don't really know. Yeah, cookies, treats. I totally forgot about this. 
So this package is actually from Belvedere Vodka, but they also sent over a bunch of Nespresso stuff. I think this is everything to make an espresso martini, but they literally sent me an espresso machine. <laughs> so now I have a coffee maker, a French press, a Breville espresso machine, and an espresso machine. Like I have everything. <laughs> A part of me feels like I should gift the Nespresso machine, but I kind of want it for myself. But realistically, I don't need all of these coffee machines. Limited edition glossy black. What do I do with this? Selfishly, I want to keep it, but it would be a good gift for someone. Let's see what else is in here. Unfortunately, one of the glasses did not make it, so I have to be careful with that. But let's just turn it around for the aesthetic. Luckily, this made it. I'm heading back downtown today for a few more events. It is a couple days later. It took me way too long to decide on my outfit, which is just like a basic outfit. But I also have a lunch with a couple friends. It's one of my friend's birthdays. So we're doing that first. And then there's two back-to-back -back liquor events. One is a wine event, the other one is a whiskey event. And I am driving, so I'm just gonna have one drink at each place. I'm just gonna go mingle for a little bit and then head home. I always find events hard to dress for because I don't really have a lot of like semi-professional clothing since I work from home. I'm never like in the office or anything. All of my clothes are like super casual or super formal and the in-between is what you need for these kinds of things. We're gonna go with this perfume. It's the YSL Libre Intense. I had lunch with my two friends and it was really nice. I didn't pull up my camera though. We just kind of caught up. It was my friend's birthday. Then I ran into Zara, but they didn't have the pants that I wanted to exchange. So I just kept the ones that I have. I just want a bigger size, but it's not the end of the world. The first event starts in 30 minutes. I might pick up Steven in a call. Hello. Oh. <laughs> you didn't post your vlog today. What is today? Today's Tuesday. Today, every Monday, the new hour. What? Her vlog. Oh, look at the tall, right in the white line. Possibly we're at event number two and we're doing the tasting. It's a reference. They have some of the tasting notes in there that provided to us from the master blender. As a nerdy bartender. <laughs> what do we get? It's, it's probably the nicest one out of all, all three so far. What's the question? I don't know, just kind of like, my mouth is kind of numb at this point. So, American Oak, formerly out of Rome, or fortified wines, and whiskeys, and so it has a tiny bit of wine, malt, even sherry, it's what I was at. I just got back from the gym, and I received this package, and I'm really confused as to who it's from. Is running late considered cardio? <gasps> Natalie. <gasps> oh no. This is not my package. This is someone else's package. And I fully just opened everything. Like, do I just put everything back? Shit. I always get packages from different PR companies, so I thought this was from a PR company. But I was like, this is so random. Like cutlery? Oh my goodness. Like do I just like write a note and be like, I'm so sorry I opened your package? I'm heading out to a hair appointment now. I'm getting my extensions put back in and this is what I'm going to wear, just like super cozy. I actually just got these pants from H&M and they match the sweater that I already had pretty much perfectly. But just like how comfy is this? And I'm wearing these which are essentially the same color and they're like outdoor slippers. And I'm gonna throw on a jacket that I also got from H&M. I have a huge H&M try on styling video coming soon. I'm gonna film it either today or tomorrow. I'm back home, hair's back in. I just feel so much better with my hair done like this. I was gonna film a video, but it's getting dark out and it's only 4 p.m. This is like 
the dark days. So I think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and shoot it in the morning. I wanted to go do a trail walk with Tika today, but I don't really wanna be in the forest when it's dark. So I think I have to push these activities till tomorrow. I'm just about to sit down and film my H&M haul. I have three huge bags and I'm also still waiting on another order. So if it gets here in time, I'm gonna include it last minute, but I might just film what I have so far. I wanted to quickly touch on November because I feel like I haven't really been talking about it. It's still going strong. I did take a few days off of vlogging and I haven't really been like specifically telling you what I'm doing, but I still have been doing new things every day. This past week, I went to a lot of new places, met new people, ate new things, tried new drinks, just especially at all these events that I went to. I also wanted to quickly talk about my hair routine right now because I am starting a few new things. I think I mentioned these vitamins. I don't know if it was this vlog or the last one, but these are the JS Health Hair and Energy. I've heard a lot of good things. So I'm on like day three of taking these. This is a two month supply. I did just get my extensions put back in yesterday, so it's gonna be harder to tell, but I can like judge growth by like these pieces down here. I've also started a new like oiling routine. I've been using rosemary and castor oil. I was doing that while my extensions were out. It's harder to do with the hair in, but I think I'm gonna do rosemary, like rosemary water spray. I've heard really good things about that too. And then I think I'm also gonna be switching over my shampoo and conditioner to a bond repairing or like, I think that's what it's called, bond repairing set. I've also been applying oil to my ends pretty much every day because that's something that I haven't been like super consistent with. And then also scalp massage brusher thing. So those are all the new things that I am including in my routine and hopefully they'll make a difference. I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I haven't posted one in a little while. Um, and then I'm going to film and edit this. This will probably be the next video up. So keep an eye out for that. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys all soon.